Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have another new bags video. So we're going to be talking about a couple bags from Dior, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Louave. So if you guys would like to see the new bags that have caught my attention, then just keep watching. <laughs> So the first brand that I'm going to be talking about is Louis Vuitton. So I have three bags from Louis Vuitton that I want to discuss, but two of them unfortunately are not released yet. I believe they're coming out in maybe two months and I think the pre-order is now. And Marquita has talked about this already, so I'll link her video down below. And then Foxy LV, of course, like the queen of LV new releases. I'll link her Instagram down below as well. So I'm going to be borrowing their pictures that they have just to show you guys. So the first one is the new updated Louis Vuitton bum bag. So the one that they just released, I think it's fine. I don't hate it as much as I did when I first saw pictures of it now seeing people try it on and stuff like that Don't want to run out of bite. It's fine, but the new updated bum bag. I hate it I just really don't like it at all the tag bit really confuses me It's the same tag that they put on their boite chapeaus I just feel like it's just kind of a waste and just extra Maybe I would like the tag more if they made the tag smaller So maybe half the size and a little bit more narrow would be slightly cuter or you know Just take the tag off completely would be really really nice definitely think the number one reason why i don't like this is purely because of the strap the strap is a lot more likable than their normal jacquard strap that just is the same thing where it has like the border with like the fuchsia or the pink or whatever color they want to use i do like this strap more than the other ones because it's similar to the strap that's on the multi pochette accessoire but i don't know i so i hate the tag in the front and the giant zipper really turns me off i might like this bum bag more more if it got more of a patina because you can see that this is going to be fresh paqueta this is projected to be $1,850 the original Louis Vuitton bum bag like the one that I have that got discontinued I think it was around that price like $1,800 around there so I don't know if this is bigger or smaller I really don't like this and then the next thing I wanted to touch really quick is the Neverfull BB so the idea of this i really liked just a smaller version of the never full pm which sounds super super cute and i know this does have a zipper in it which a lot of people like i personally because the aesthetics of the never full what i like about it is because it's so open it's super easy to get in and out of of course it's nice to have that zipper it's kind of like goyard has their saint louis tote and then their artois is the one that has the zipper on it but the construction of the top when you have that zipper it's not as this like i don't know how to describe it and then of course the number one reason why i don't like this bag is the strap like i just don't get louis vuitton's affinity for this guitar strap like i'm wondering with the board members of louis vuitton they all sitting the guitar strap is the best thing that we've ever done like people love it we love it like i really wonder if i'm just in the minority here that it's not that i hate the guitar strap i just really don't understand why they attach it to every single new bag that comes out the alma bb the new speedies this like every single new bag that they have comes with a jacquard strap like i don't understand why they can't have treated leather vachetta vachetta sorry i'm really trying to say vachetta but it's just like ingrained in my system for like 20 plus years to say vachetta i actually don't hate the little coin pouch on the front i actually think it's really cute it makes it a little bit more special i don't understand why they felt the need to add it but i actually do like it purely because now you have an opportunity to dress this up so for example if you have like a louis vuitton charm that would actually look so cute in this little mini bag so i don't hate the little coin pouch because i like that you can detach it if it was like permanently on the bag then i wouldn't like it as much but the fact that it basically comes with a little coin pouch that you can just use as an slg if you want to put it in another bag to put coins or anything like that i think that's actually really nice so the price of this supposedly is going to be 1900 dollars. i think this is crazy overpriced but I get the price in terms of what they added to this bag. So the strap alone adds probably two to $250, okay? That already drops it down to $1,700 if we take that away. And then obviously the coin pouch, let's just say it's another $500. So if you take the coin pouch away and you take the strap, 
even just the bag on its own with the zipper easily they could sell this for fourteen hundred dollars which is not bad considering today's pricing i really just wish they made the strap optional and they just sold the bag as is and then had the little d-rings on the side i think this would be so cute if it was just the thin kind of the alma bb the Keta strap i think that would look so cute like very very cute to be honest okay so the last louis vuitton bag i want to discuss is on the website i actually got the email notification for this one so it is their new mini moon bag because you guys know hobo bags are super in and i'm a shoulder bag gal so one detail that i instantly saw is this curved kind of belt buckle this is the same with the bois chapel supo there's like a curved little hook for it which i actually really like it's a little bit different and when i first first saw pictures of this when i saw it on my email I didn't know how I felt about it, but then the more I kind of let it marinate inside my brain I actually really like it. I like how simple it is I think it's because it's the emprunt leather is why I really do like this I mean if they made this bag in their normal monogram canvas and then added treated vachetta as the strap I would also really like that too. It would be kind of like a more modern day Pochette accessoire, which would be really nice I actually really like the detail that there's a buckle right here And then this is available in a few different colors the first First one I saw was the pink one in the email if you guys know you guys probably all got the email if I could alter something I wish the zipper pull tab was just a little bit smaller I just think it's slightly too big because this is very big and then this is really big if it was just a little bit smaller would be really cute or instead of LV because it's LV right here and LV right here it might be a little bit too repetitive if they use their Fleur de Lis in this instead I think that would have been chef's kiss amazing because then you kind of get both of them because you see like all their Fleur de Lis bits right here are cut off so if they had the Fleur de Lis in the hardware that'd be really nice but I love the color that they chose like the shiny light gold and then this green one I think is really cute I really like that they see the tones of this color and they see that this would look really good with a cool tone because this green is cool toned and then with the silver hardware it's more cool toned too so it kind of brings out the color of each other which I really really like I really really like I think price point this is actually not bad because I believe the current Ava bag the canvas one is maybe 1700 I think and this is all on prompt leather and I really do like on prompt leather I don't own anything in on prompt leather but I really like this one and then the cool toned in this. This is giving me wisteria is the vibe that I'm getting, especially with the silver hardware. So I really, really like this and I think this is priced very fairly considering it's a shoulder bag. I mean, the Prada Mini 2000s in nylon, I believe are like $12.50 and that's nylon. So for $500 extra, you get a Louis Vuitton bag and it's in all leather and I actually really like the detail of the strap being a bit thicker because if you compare this strap to let's say the Prada Safiano strap one, the 2005 mini one that strap is very thin whereas this is actually really thick so I actually really really like this bag next time I go to Louis Vuitton I'm definitely gonna give this a go and try it on and then we're gonna see because you guys know me I'm a shoulder bag lover so sticking with the shoulder slash hobo bag aesthetic we're gonna pop into Chanel really quick just one bag that I want to talk about it is their new hobo handbag so this retails for $4,900 I actually do really like this I think it's very cute the only gripe that I have with this bag is how slim it is I wish it was a little chunkier just like maybe be an inch more of width because you see it's exactly the width of the chain which means this bag is very thin it's borderline a pouch essentially almost like an slg pouch so but i do like the look of it so if you want something slim if you're interested in for example the prada Cleo bag this is very similar to that but just the chanel version and i just really like the shade of yellow i texted my essay and asked her if she had this shade of yellow in an slg and the slgs that i'm looking for they didn't have it unfortunately so you can see that they have it in the larger size as well so this is really nice in the larger size because you can tell that you can shoulder bag it or crossbody it but obviously the chain right here is not removable but i actually think this would look nice because it's so slim when you wear this against your body it's kind of like the hermes evelyn bag but slimmer you know normally i'm not an aged gold hardware gal but on this i actually do really really like it the other chanel bag that i actually want to talk about totally forgot was this backpack i think i saw it from irene's video i believe if it was her i'm gonna link her short down below where she mentioned this bag and i saw it and i instantly fell in love because of the hardware details you guys know that chanel sometimes adds those little charms on their reissues or even just their classic flaps they add the charms and i love this it 
physically pained me when I saw the price point of this for a second I was like wait is this like in Canadian dollars or is this US and it's US dollars so this bag is $7,100 for a small backpack but I'm not gonna lie to you it's so pretty I think this is so expensive <laughs> Ugh, but it's really nice because it has the flap. I believe this is like a little pocket I'm gonna assume there's like a little magnet button right here, but you guys see the detail right here. There's a clover I'm gonna zoom in there's a four leaf clover right here and then even the hook right here is giving me the coco crush ring which is really really nice and do you guys see it has like the chanel number no. five and then even just this detail right here so i am utterly obsessed with the link ups right here and you have the number no. five as well just look at the attention to detail for all of these items and i love that every single medallion is different it wouldn't be as interesting i feel if it was like five then the number no. five perfume and then five again i like that there's space number no. five perfume one that's full five again like i really really like this and then my favorite bit too too, is the detail right here it's like a giant cocoa crush ring that got flattened so i really really like this and then yeah, even like the protectiveness right here from the chain because a lot of people say the number one issue with the chanel 22 when they were initially manufacturing them is that the chain would rub against the leather that the fact that there was no hardware or protective seal between the leather and the chain so this kind of ensures that this part will not fray or get damaged so you can just like pull it in and out and it'd be fine i really 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 love this like just oh it's stunning and they have this available in black as well i told myself i will never i don't not never but i don't need another designer backpack but this really just pulled my heart and my soul i do think seven thousand dollars is really 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 expensive this is so cute see i feel like six thousand would have been more understandable but they just like upped it because of the that chanel backpack i forgot what it's called but there was a specific name for it, the one with the little pouches on it um lv lover cc has that one in the caramel color uh and that one is around six over six thousand dollars so they added an extra thousand just for the hardware on this but it is really nice oh my god the next bags i'm going to talk about are going to be from fendi so the number one new fendi bag if you guys haven't heard already is the fendi come on bag my essay actually sent me a couple pictures of the bag of her trying it on so if you guys want some mod shops i'm going to insert them right over here so you guys can look at it i initially when i first saw it i I was okay about it and then it kind of grew on me i don't love love it but i don't hate it as well i think it will definitely probably grow on me more if i try this bag on but i love the ff hardware i think that's actually really fun as opposed to the baguette bag the ff is a lot longer and more narrow whereas this is just like ff it's the exact same ratio the hardware ff to the ff on the canvas which i actually really like that detail and i believe there's a little back pocket and then you see the hardware of the ff right here and then the pocket so this is lined with leather and then there's canvas on the outside of course they do have this available in leather as well so they have the bigger size here and they do have a little buckle so the strap is adjustable has any of you guys tried this bag on and then they have the hardware hoops right over here here as well this is just kind of giving me a fendi version of the dior bobby bag oh gosh she looks so good or maybe she's just really pretty but i love everything about this like even the pants right here it's giving me like those chanel cc jeans that every single influencer has right now that i'm obsessed but i could never afford like 1200 pants i don't think so pal but i really actually do like this i'm sure they're gonna come out with more colors they have it in crocodile leather too of course exotics look at that price point 17 000 thousand dollars for a purse <laughs> but i do like the color i like the color i actually like that the entire bag isn't crocodile lined i like that the inside is napa leather so you kind of have that contrast with the sheen from the crocodile leather so this looks really really nice what do you guys think of this bag have you guys tried it on i haven't tried it on and then the other thing that i wanted to talk about from fendi is just the new embroidered pieces so this is the new do you guys see this is giving me natasha denona glam palette like the tones of this i especially love the strap right here i love this like kind of light taupe that goes against with this so this is the regular multicolored one this bag would actually look good with the taupe strap as well but i love that they're so different this is very cool toned and it's kind of a very 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 soft pink color on this bit of the f i feel like this is the epitome of 
have a cool tone neutral eyeshadow palette and I actually really like that they use gold instead of silver for this I think it just looks really really nice I would love to try this on and see this but just looking at it I really like it my essay did show me a video of this I believe in the nano baguette charm so I'll insert that here too so you guys can look at it what do you guys like more this one or the colorful multicolor so you guys know that i'm looking to buy another nano fendi baguette charm and that'll be after that i'll be done with mini bags okay so the main reason why i love and adore this for one it's colorful and i love it but i love that the inside has the og fendi stripe this one has the beautiful like the brown tones the neutrals i really really like this but the inside doesn't have the straps which is really unfortunate look how pretty so this one also has the adjustable strap right here and it even has the little taupe leather bits just like on the bigger version which is really cute but see it's just plain Hmm. if it had the vintage fendi stripes on the inside of this i honestly would be at a stand so i don't know which one i like more but also this one is more expensive i believe it's because of purely the leather interior on this one so this one is 920 and then this one is 850 so it's like a 70 dollar difference and i really think it's because the other one has just a little bit more leather as opposed to this one so those are the two fendi pieces that i wanted to discuss okay so two more brands left we're going to talk about dior really quickly so the newest dior bag that i wanted to discuss is this new tote bag it's the dior toujours bag i like that this can fold inside i actually like the way it looks more folded inwards as opposed to just on its own like this the first time i saw this bag ever wasn't actually on the website it was a picture of jisoo i think leaving the airport or something and she had this bag of course i'm sure they gifted it to her so they have it in their latte color the black and then obviously the brown chocolatey color and then I do have it in the beige as well so this is basically calfskin with their Dior canage and I do actually like the detail of the little Dior charms because if they didn't have that it wouldn't be as fun this is kind of giving me a Dior version of the on the go tote purely because it has the short handle straps and then also the straps can be adjusted and turned into a longer version which I think is cute and it does come with the little pouch so I think this bag is kind of expensive it's $3,900 but it is an all leather taupe so for example the Louis Vuitton on the go is all canvas and it's over $3,000 whereas this is all leather and it comes with a little pouch as well so it's $3,900 so I kind of get the pricing but it is just expensive out of all the colors I definitely like the beige one the most when I first saw this bag it wasn't a bag that I was like oh my gosh I need to see this bag in person I love it I want to try it on I didn't get that vibe and then really quick, super exciting. So they have the plan de Paris. So it's like the map of Paris, which I love and adore. If I could buy a book tote right now, I totally would get this one. You guys know that I love the black and hazelnut color from, I think, two collections ago. I just love this. I love that obviously Christian Dior is from Paris and then they have the map of Paris in Genius. More likely than not, I'm gonna buy a silk scarf for myself to be honest. <laughs> Originally when they came out with this plan to Paris is in black and white. That was the first time I saw it and I instantly fell in love. Obviously I couldn't buy it and I was really sad. I was like, you know what? It wasn't meant to be and then they came out with this in the hazelnut and black color. <gasps> this is just oh it's so good it's just so good i'm so happy that they made a hazelnut version of this instead of just the black and white because black and white is actually a little bit hard to style it's very stark and this makes it so easy because you can wear with brown things i just i love everything about this entire look right now it's such a vibe and then the last thing i wanted to discuss was the two new colors from dior so they have this antique pink which is like this kind of muted bubblegum pink color and then more importantly i wanted to focus on the caro bag i will never it's like danube Danube. Well, I found out it's called Danube, but it's also Caro and Caro. I've heard it pronounced correctly and I just always forget about it. But this new Caro bag, we're just gonna call it Caro, okay? This hardware in the middle, I actually really, really like. I don't know how I feel about the chain where it has sort of like an acrylic with the metal hardware. It's cool, but I think I would like it more if it was just all gold. But I actually just like this is very special and it's very unique. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. And they also have this available in the icy blue color it's called placid blue so they have it in the same with the acrylic and then the hardware right over here which i think is really pretty you guys know that the number one bag that got away from my life was that yellow caro butter bag oh my gosh i constantly think about that bag but this icy blue color is spectacular spectacular it kind of reminds me of 
I think maybe a year ago, two years ago, Chanel had this iridescent. They called it the Frozen bag. That iridescent color, it's kind of like this, but this isn't iridescent. It's more of the flatter version of that. But I actually really, really like the shade of blue. I think it's very wearable, especially look on the model. Just everything about this, even with the bracelet right over here, I just think it's so pretty because it's bright but muted at the same time because a lot of blues I feel like are on the more dusty gray side as opposed to the brighter blue side and I really really like this super super cute especially with gray oh this is such a such a look mm, I love it I love it so much and then they also have the dusty blue color in this book tote which I think is so pretty this is giving me kind of a winter wedding in january i just i really really like this if you guys just see the different shades of blue right here i think this is so pretty and then the tone of blue that they use for the band against this dark navy gray blue i think it's just so pretty obviously you guys know to just be a little bit hesitant and weary with dior book totes that come in white because apparently there are some cases where you can see the yellow glue come out if it's a white book tote which is why i always lean towards darker book totes but yeah, like here is the Carl bag again. It's just so, so pretty. And in the Lady Dior, I love this. Oh, but the price point really hurts. So we'll just talk about the Dior price increase really quick. Isn't it crazy though that the mini Lady Dior in 2020 was 3,950 US dollars and now it is $5,500. My tap out for the mini Lady Dior price is six. When it hits six, I. I can't do it anymore <laughs> I just really can't but they actually have this dark gray color that I really like as well I feel like this is very wearable I feel like I could wear this in the day and I can wear it as an evening bag as well and because it's darker I don't even need to put a twilly on it purely because the handles like my hands are dirty but you can't even tell because it's already dark gray you know what I'm saying so the main takeaway from Dior were the three new colors essentially and then the new bag that Jisoo has been wearing okay so the final bag that we're going to discuss is the lueve puzzle full tote it's essentially a tote bag of course you guys see that it could actually fold it to a little square which i think is cool for travel this is calfskin not lambskin i mean i think the idea is really really nice i wish instead of it saying lueve right here it was just a little anagram maybe on the side or on the corner or something like that kind of like the hammock where it has just like the embossed leather anagram i like that more personally than the kind of gold foil lueve stamp right here but that's just my personal take on it i mean i think this is cool price point wise it's not bad because their raffia tote that i really like is 1700 and this bag is entirely leather and it's 1900 it's basically the lueve version of the celine or the saint laurent their kiboss totes but this is like the lueve version of it which i actually think is really cool you guys see like the little cut crease right here so they do have this available in other colors if i were to get this i think i would lean towards black or this dark khaki green color Ooh, i really actually like this khaki green color Ooh, that looks really nice yeah i definitely just want to see how it kind of lays against the body i feel like it's very unique and it's very creative i do like that it would be awesome for travel and then they do have this available in the mini size as well just oh it's so cute it's giving me a lueve version of the madewell bags just look how cute this is and then the mini one does come with the adjustable strap which i think is super super cute let's see do they not have a video of the model wearing it see i even like the stitching right here personally i think this x stitching is really cute oh so this bag i'm definitely definitely gonna try it i mean price point wise it's not bad at all it's 1600 dollars and it's all leather as opposed to the louis vuitton what is it the petite sac plat canvas leather handles 1800 dollars and that bag is tiny this bag is available in a couple other colors as well Ooh, the bright ochre see i wish this was in the dark butter instead of bright ochre i think i would like this more in the dark butter color oh so you see the model yeah it's really tiny this is cute too i feel like this would be a good errands bag it's very very casual extremely so and even the sunrise orange just a little bright pop of color i think like mini bags and a bright pop of color is really really nice too yeah, it's really cute. I actually do like it. I do like it. It's very casual. They definitely need to make this in more colors. I think it is a little crazy though. So the price point difference between the mini size and the small size is around $300, which is I guess fair. I just feel like mini bags are so 
Mm. Okay, I do really like this. I do like this. Do any of you guys own this? Did you guys buy it already? Did you guys try it on? Let me know how you guys feel. Okay, guys, so that is the end of today's new bags episode. Are any of these bags on your wish list right now? I think the two bags that I definitely want to try on in person and see and feel in person is the Empreinte Leather Mini Moon Bag from Louis Vuitton, just to see how soft it is, how pliable it is, how comfortable it is, because I do like that the strap is thicker. And then the Lueve Puzzle Tote bag sounds very very interesting because it looks cute but maybe when it lays across my body it might be kind of bulky even though it's foldable because it's only foldable down but what if it kind of juts out because i tried on the louis vuitton the nano bucket bag and i i liked looking at it but when it laid across my body it just was too protruding because it was a circular opening and i wasn't a fan of that like trying it on i was like Ugh, i don't like it on but i do like looking at it so you have those issues when you don't try on bags as always i hope you guys enjoyed today's video were there any bags that you guys didn't hear about or did you guys just know about all of these and i'm just really late on posting this video but as you guys can see crescent bags are going nowhere it's all about the hobo aesthetic right now if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys